What I'm studying is um, an amphibian disease called um, amphibian chytrid fungus. Where are you going to school? JGEMS, the Jane Goodall Environmental Middle School. Their populations are declining um, and they're at risk. Okay, and where are you going to school, Brody? The Jane Goodall Environmental Middle School. So, what's your favorite species so far? Northwestern, Northwestern salamanders. Now, where are you going to school? Go to J. Jim's uh, Jane Goodall Environmental Middle School. And then we're going to check traps that I set out um, that will hopefully have some amphibians in it. Uh, J. Jim's, the Jane Goodall Environmental Middle School. So we are at Pintail Marsh at Ankeny National Wildlife Refuge and we were introduced to the student researchers from Jane Goodall Environmental Middle School. Today, uh, we were working with Tara Chestnut and we found some long-toed salamanders, rough-skinned newts, and a tree frog. We're surveying and studying for amphibians because every year the eighth graders go on research trips. So I thought it would be fun to do a research project on them since I have seen a lot of amphibians and I just thought I'd want to learn more about them. It was amphibians out of several other groups of animals and I just thought amphibians were interesting because they could be on the land and water unlike many other species. What we can do is bring all of the traps back here so I can, um, so we can just record what's in them and let the animals go if there are any. This group is studying the difference in abundance and diversity of uh, pond breeding amphibians. And so they're looking specifically at ephemeral ponds and then permanent year-round ponds. Any amphibians? All right, anything else? Something. You got a frog and you got a new. Oh, awesome. Okay. That's two in one. Today, one of the goals was to sample breeding amphibians for the amphibian chytrid fungus, Batraco chytrium dendrobatidis. And we set out aquatic funnel traps and also used dip nets to try to capture amphibians. And we are sampling them for the chytrid fungus using non-invasive swab uh, techniques. So we'll collect a skin sample, not unlike a sample that you might have collected from your cheek if you have strep throat. And then we take those swabs back to the lab and we do a DNA extraction and we can actually determine whether or not the amphibian chytrid fungus is on or in the amphibian and also how much of it is there. Everyone measure the animals twice. Um, have you ever heard in, in woodworking measure twice, cut once? Yeah. Yeah, same, same rule is, is you just double check your work. Does anyone remember the name of the reflex that they have to show other animals that you shouldn't eat newts? It's called the Unkin reflex. One of the goals of this research is to better understand the ecology of the amphibian chytrid fungus in amphibian habitats so that we can better inform amphibian conservation. We're looking at aspects of the water quality to try to understand if the temperature, pH, nutrients, carbon, or the turbidity in the water influence the density or the presence of amphibian chytrid fungus in amphibian habitat. It's a typical J. Gems field trip. <laughs> Beautiful weather. <laughs> no, it, it's um, obviously rainy, but it's been great. You know, the kids, I think, really like coming out and uh, 
maybe not getting soaking wet, but the experience is good. It gives them character. <laughs> The amphibian breeding season is is the is it, it, it indicates the arrival of spring, and that's a pretty exciting thing. And with the amphibians croaking, and with long to toed salamanders, and uh, and things like that, it's like it means spring's here, and that's pretty exciting. I think it's fun to try to find them because they're not easy to find, so you kind of have to hunt for them. Well, I like it because. Just the joy of amphibians, really, because they're really neat to look at and to hold and to study. Yeah, before I came into this group and started doing the research, I knew basically nothing about amphibians. Now I know what they eat, where they live, scientific names, a lot of stuff. Yeah, I think th this work, it, it's, it's exciting to me on a number of fronts. It's exciting to me because we are doing truly novel research uh, that will help with amphibian conservation, not just at this site on this National Wildlife Refuge or in this region, but may potentially help amphibians worldwide.